welcome to mats lectures this is dr shivraj assistant professor mats uh, this lecture we are going to see time series analysis and the basic things so let's see what is a time series analysis so it's a way to find hidden patterns and insights by using the data points collected at regular intervals then the things after finding patterns we going to use this for predicting the future data of the or maybe uh, based on the previous data we going to predict the future data so let's see what is time series basically it's a collection of observation of well defined data items obtained through repeated measurement over the time so basically the data collected over the period of time maybe the periodically we going to collect the data of the particular business models that is called as a time series data so the interval what we are taking that may be a one week or maybe a, a hour it may be a month or maybe a sometimes years also this is called a time series of frequency consider this data items what we are showing on the screen if you have, if you remove this date items or features from the data sets it is seem to be a normal data sets what we are using for other applications but if you are incorporating with the time bound or maybe a time features in your data set that is simply referred as time series data so uh, what may be the major objective of time series analysis first we going to find the features what features may be available in the previous data is may be like a trend or maybe seasonality and variability we will see elaborately on the components level then after complete or maybe finding the features this can be used for predicting the future based on our previous observations for example if you see the stock market right you can uh, use this model to predict suppose particular time or a particular uh, date in the future the what may be the value of the current stock market price it may be far it may be down maybe a uh, rise again and we can measure how much it may be fall and how much may be raise everything based on the previous data that usually is called as the forecasting right so it not only the stock market in mostly uh, weather forecasting we are very much familiar about that and finally we can use for inference maybe the understanding the business model maybe a success or failure what cause or what when it's happened and what may be the basic entity to influence our business model that can be we can uh, take the objective for time series analysis so to see the components of time series analysis we have uh, basically four components on it the component means the reason that affect the values of the observation in the time series so it may be a trend or a seasonal variance a cyclic variance or maybe a random or irregular movements those are called as the component of time series so we will uh, see one so what's a trend the trend refers to an average uh, or maybe a long term or a smooth tendency on our observations so we can just to understand that the general tendency of data it may be increase or decrease during the long period of time so by example in our uh, figure which shows that the trend it is maybe upward direction you can see that the movement of the stock values it increasing over the period of time in year wise it's a long durations at least that may be in short duration in between if you take one particular year or particular portion of your data set we can't find maybe a trend also for example you can see this data it may be uh, sometimes uh, up and sometimes down again it's going up again it's going down it's it may be movement like this it may be in the data sets or time series but it's not considered as a trend trend means we have to consider longer period of time it may be upward or downward we can't consider the shorter note right so we have a uh, different type of uh, trend components it may be a linear or maybe a non linear linear type is probably increasing the linear trend it may be a one way directions it may be increasing order or may be a, a decreasing order that's called linear trend the movement of a change in the analysis or maybe in the data it may be one direction may be increasing order or decreasing order if you go for a non linear type sometimes our 
data may be at times is data may be increasing exponentially or maybe it's like growth is increasing or sometimes we can follow fall the parabolic structure may be upward or downward parabolic structure for example this one if you consider the lic stock when suppose after is come to that market it suddenly fall down it went to long dip right now it is again raising up so how it can measure that the stock it's actually started here it come down up particular point again okay, it's pick up to the upward it is the moment is called as non linear and parabolic structure the next component is called a seasonal variance so seasonality means in the when the time series data exhibits regular and predictable patterns uh, for example if you want to measure the weather throughout the year maybe the multiple years if you take the particular month we can take the peak of temperature and particular month may be downwards right it may be repeatedly comes in every years that is called the seasonal values right so in this example and i am showing that the monthly number of uh, passenger arrival actually is airline passenger data set i used to show that we can see that the data available from 1949 to 1960 right you can see the trend on it you can take the predictable pattern on it maybe it is increasing in the particular year it is slow maybe it is little bit higher but you can see the pattern both are having a same structure so particular month it may be higher or other month this may be lower right that is called seasonality uh, what may be cause seasonality it may be uh, like the seasonality changes may be a daily basis or weekly basis monthly basis or yearly basis anyway we can go for seasonal seasonality okay so it we can consider short note is just opposite to the trend actually trend we are taking the longer period of time but seasonal variation we going to observe the, the repeated patterns on the shorter period of time like weekly monthly or sometimes if you interested that is yearly basis so next one a cyclic variations cyclic variations uh, which may be a repeat again and again if go up and fall down against go up against fall down against go up again fall down like that will go so cyclic variation is upward direction down again up and down actually there is no necessity to be a cycle may be a perfect duration sometimes it may be upper you can see that this is a shorter duration is may be sometime longer this again shorter it may be like this but the cyclic variation is recurrent upward and downward movement of time series we seen the trend actually the parabolic na if you connect the multiple upward downward parabolic we can consider as a cycle variations let's we see a random irregular movements so irregular variations are a fluctuation in the time series data may be in a shorter durations it may be unpredictable the nature it's follow no regularity in the occurrence of patterns right you can see the image in the to right hand side so you can see the patterns we can predict this may be a, a cyclic or maybe a trend or maybe it's a seasonality but we can take the short period of time basically so what we are doing now we can uh, the regular movement may be happen a short period of time but we can't predict it what to do how to do everything right so whatever left out from the trend the cyclic and seasonal variations those are called as random or irregular movement basically it also referred as a residual right so the fluctuation are unforeseen is may be uncontrollable unpredictable and erratic in nature let us see the next important uh, part of your time series analysis this is make maximum influence on our uh, longer period of data observations sometimes the time series will cause sudden shift to the mean value maybe a sudden shift in the level of data certain break points refer to the structural break or maybe a non linearities so by this example you can see that so after 1960 after 1960 the micro economics indicate change sharply with 2000 just to take a pick up to that higher level right higher level to that mean values so if i consider this value up to uh, 1980 if you go for the analysis 
we have to go for the mean value suppose i can take it zero for example we have to take the zero on the mean value but if you are after 1960 that is 1980 it just shifted to maybe 4 to 5 in a mean value if you go for the analysis or any kind of uh, forecasting then then we have to split the model into two variants one is up to 80 and after 80 then only you can get the correct result or else we can lose the result on it maybe we can't drive the perfect result from that so it has come to the end of the session a summary so trend we can see we seen the component of uh, time series analysis what is the trend it's a long running pattern of time series it may be upward or downwards and seasonality is a repetitive patterns on certain time of year are called a seasonality it's a repetitive again and again by the frequency time frequency what we are say taking like uh, weekly monthly or yearly it is repetitive right and cyclic pattern this is show the fluctuation at any time of the year but it's a cyclic pattern sometimes upwards and downwards again up again down it's going for the alternative up and downwards and irregular patterns it's unpredictable in nature and follow no regularity in the occurrence of patterns so these all about our component of time series analysis so uh, next lecture we will see the uh, time series forecasting models how we are working with the models and what is the useful of the models elaborately so uh, come we come to the final part of the lecture if you have any questions you can scan the qr code and you can uh, form we have given the form link to that even our uh, comments also we have a form link you can click the form link and you can give the suggestions if you have any queries in that also you can post it can be uh, explained periodically right thank you